In 1983, the first ever space-based observatory to survey the skies at infrared wavelengths was launched from California. Its name was IRAS, the Infrared Astronomical Satellite. Being the first of its kind, you can imagine that the data it gathered would be largely unknown to many people. Indeed, some things are still waiting to be identified, but then there are hundreds of thousands of them to go through. We are talking about 96% of the entire sky here, and seen in infrared. Where then does Nibiru fit into all of this? Back in 1983, IRAS briefly made headlines with the discovery of an unknown object, described as possibly as large as the giant planet Jupiter, and possibly so close to Earth that it would be part of this solar system. Sounds like Nibiru, eh? At last, we have definitive proof. Except that we don't, of course. No, these unknown objects were of course studied in detail and found out to be distant galaxies. Distant galaxies, by definition, don't exist inside solar systems and are slightly larger than Jupiter. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> The Washington Post article even goes on to quote Dr. Jerry Neugebauer regarding speculation that it might be moving towards Earth, who says, It's not incoming mail. I want to douse the idea with as much cold water as I can. Not Nibiru, then. Not at all. Which is strange, because it has been known what Irash has seen for more than two decades now. And still, it is falsely used as proof of Nibiru. So, when you hear a believer bring Irash to the table, politely tell them to take it back. Small, far away. <laughs> I forget it.